Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, so this video is again another update about my PhD curriculum or PhD life at IIT Khadapur that I have successfully delivered or successfully cleared the registration seminar. Uh, so seminar was scheduled last Monday on 26th June. Now you might be wondering what is now this registration seminar. So that I am going to discuss in this video in detail that what is a registration seminar, <clears throat> when you have to give this seminar, you know what are the things that you need to do in order to clear this seminar and what will be the consequences if you don't give a registration seminar or if you delay giving a registration seminar. And finally my personal experience obviously I will be sharing and there are some clips and snaps one of my friends has taken when I was presenting the seminar. So that also I will be you know showing you at the end of this video. Uh, so that will be the content of this video. So if you want to know detail about this, uh, please stay tuned this video till end. And you know, if you if you like this video, please like it uh, so that my video will get more and more reach. And if you are new to this particular channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon also so that when you upload a video, you will get instant notification. With further ado, let's start into today's video. Now, what is a registration seminar? Uh, frankly speaking, I don't know whether other IITs also have a registration seminar, but IIT Kharagpur in all departments, they have a registration seminar. So typically the idea is, as you know, uh, there is a comprehensive exam uh, that happened and I cleared that exam last month only. So typically once a student clear the comprehensive exam, uh, he or she is supposed to give a registration seminar. And the idea is in this seminar, uh, you have to present your research work that you are thinking of. Maybe, you know, you have just started working on your topic. Then maybe you have done some literature survey or you have done some work, uh, uh, you know, you have started some work with your, uh, with your supervisor or guide. Then that you have to present in this seminar. So the best idea is that you clear the comprehensive exam and then you start working uh, on the research topic that you are focusing on. And then you publish some work uh, from it and then you know you you, pre, you, you present this uh, registration seminar in front of the committee. So there will be a committee who will be evaluating uh, this registration seminar. Uh, so in IIT Kharagpur, whenever you will be joining uh, your, as a PhD candidate in any of the department, a DSC committee will be formed. And that committee will have your supervisor or your you know joint supervisor or co-guide. And apart from that, there will be four people, uh, three professors from your institution, uh, from your department and one professor will be there who will be coming from a different department. So that will be the committee that will be there throughout your, uh, you know, PhD curriculum and whenever there will be uh, some formality have to be, you know, have to be done like registration seminar and then after that there are some other seminars also you have to give and at the end you have to give a synopsis and finally you have to defend your thesis. So every time this committee will be there, you have to present your work uh, in front of this committee and they will decide and they will take all the, you know, approval, they will take the action or approval uh, they only can take. And if there are any, 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 any approval for any other academic purpose also, maybe you know, some approval is needed uh, to visit some country or some conference, you need some approval from uh, from the institution. So then you have to first take the approval from the DSC committee and then only you can take the approval from your HOD and then everything will happen. So the committee will be there, uh, you know, every, uh, throughout your uh, curriculum of your PhD and in this registration seminar, you have to present in front of the committee and they will decide uh, whether your you know, presentation that will be doing uh, that's sufficient to clear this registration seminar or not. So typical idea is that you start working and do some work, do some publishable work and then you give the uh, registration seminar so that you can say that I have done some work and then now I'm, I'm thinking of uh, you know sending this paper to some conference or journal. So for me it was an easy thing because you know I already have couple of papers published so it was not that difficult for me uh, to give the registration seminar. Uh, now when you have to give the registration seminar, so as I was saying that after compre exam you have to give and compre typically you give around the end of your second uh, year. Uh, so like this time only around end of your second year to third year uh, to the end of your third year you have to give the registration seminar. And what will happen if you don't give the registration seminar? So the main problem is that you know your stipend might get stopped and you might not get promoted to the next level. So you will join as a junior research fellow and you have to, you know, you have to get a promotion to go to senior research fellow for get a, you know, higher stipend or higher salary. Uh, 
so you have to first give the resistance seminar then only you'll be eligible to for giving the enhancement seminar and then only your promotion will happen and you will get um, the, the extra money uh, as, as a scholarship for us uh, for PMRF fellow also kind of similar thing happened but we don't have to give a enhancement seminar as such so we just have to upload a report as a enhancement report uh, but then our salary also will be increased from 70,000 to 75,000 so its immediate impact is on your uh, you know scholarship or stipend and one more thing is that suppose you, you have published a paper in a conference uh, so then you have to go to that conference to present your you know paper there like i'll be going to uh, this usa to present my paper in uai for that you know i need a permission from from the uh, deputy director of the institution uh, so that you know i can i can take the travel grant from my pmrf uh, fund or or there are some institute institute grant also that is available for the normal research scholar in order to get that fund, uh, fund, you need a permission from the institution before going to the conference. And that permission you will only get if your resistance seminar is done. So if you if you didn't give the resistance seminar, even if you have a paper, you won't get the permission from the institution to visit the conference. Then the all costs, including travel and other expenses that will be there for visiting the conference, that you have to, you know, you have to carry the expense. Uh, institute won't fund you any any funding for for your travel. So that is also one one issue that if you want the travel grant from the institution or if you want to use uh, any kind of travel grant like PMRF and all, then uh, yeah, you need the resident seminar because then only institution institute will grant you uh, for your visit to the conference. So these are two issues that will be there. That first your scholarship will be uh, suspended. Or stopped and if you have any paper published uh, institute own allow you to go there then you have to bear all the expenses by your own now coming to my experience so as I was saying that I have given my comprehensive exam uh, in this March end and I cleared it in, in in first week of May and then I started talking with my supervisor because I need again the permission from the institution to go to UAI to present my work in USA so that's why I need the approval uh, from the institution and I have a couple of papers so it was not a problem for me to give the resistance seminar any time. Uh, so I talked to my supervisor so they were a bit busy so that's why it got it got delayed a bit. Uh, but yeah finally we, you know we all decided that we'll be presenting the paper on 26th. Uh, so time was 1130 uh, and then uh, the seminar was scheduled in the conference room in uh, CSE department. Uh, so committee was there uh, so one thing I had to send to the committee was the report uh, so I prepared a report uh, of, the, of the talk and that I have sent to all the DSC committee member and I have prepared a slide also to present uh, so that uh, you know duration was one hour so typically 40 to 45 minutes you will be presenting and then 15 minutes will be a question and answer session. So yeah, I mean all the DSC member, you know, they listened uh, to my talk and they asked few questions at the end and I have answered them. So yeah, overall it was a, you know, there was no issue. I mean, it was a great, they, everyone was satisfied with my talk and they said that my seminar is approved. I mean, I have, I have cleared the seminar. So yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, it was just a formality I feel and I don't think this seminar is there in other IITs. This is just a, you know, IIT KGB specific uh, thing. And I don't actually, I don't know because I haven't, I haven't heard anything like this in ISC and I haven't heard anything like this. Uh, from my friends in um, IIT Bombay also. Uh, so let me know if you, if any of the PhD scholar is from other IITs, uh, you know, list, is listening to this video and in their IIT also the, this kind of register seminar is there. So let me know. Now few, uh, you know, picture and video clips one of my friends has taken. So I, I'll show you uh, those pictures. So please have a look on that. So that's all about uh, the registration seminar and, and if, if someone is you know aiming to join IIT Kharagpur for their PhD you know please keep this into your mind that you have to give a registration seminar and an enhancement seminar and also some other seminar also you have to give before your final uh, thesis defend. Uh, so these are the formalities that is there in all the department in IIT Kharagpur and you, you have to keep on giving some presentation in six months now onwards to you know get the 
you know scholarship regularly otherwise your scholarship will be stopped uh, so these things are there you know these are the you know few norms that you have to follow if you are if you are doing your phd because continuously institute will evaluate you your progress so if you can't show the progress then obviously they will stop your stipend and all so yeah that's it about this recent seminar uh, so let me know if you have any comment or if you have any query in the comment section so that i can answer them and if you want to join my telegram channel i'll be giving the link in the description you can join there and ask me any question you can discuss many things we are actually discussing many things there and if you want to connect me personally you can ping me in instagram linkedin i, I always uh, try to answer uh, students or aspirants query and if you like this uh, video please don't forget to like hit the like button because that you know increase my reach and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload a video you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet in the next video until then bye